I knew that noise meant something. Oh my goodness, the floor. That Marshall. I'm going to have to put on my big idea glasses to clean up this mess because I am sure there is a lot all over the place. Oh, Marshall. Oh, hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here. To see your smiling faces sure makes me feel a whole lot better. Look at this big mess that Marshall went and made. He was on the counter, I tell you, that crazy dog. And he was smelling his food and his... I don't know, milk bones or something. And now everything's all over the floor and I have to clean it all up. And he's hiding. Would you believe it? That crazy dog is hiding. He knows because I heard a big bang and I called out, Marshall, what is that big noise? That makes me think of today's big idea. Why? It says, be sure the truth will always come out. I came upstairs and I sure found the truth, boys and girls. Marshall likes to climb up on the counter and he's not supposed to. Now I have to clean this all up. got a good idea boys and girls you know what I think this is all nice and clean let's hit the dance floor you're watching life tree kids
feel so much better from that. Boys and girls, I needed that song just to get all my frustrations out. That Marshall, he is still hiding. Would you believe it? You know, boys and girls, when we do wrong, we should never hide the truth. Have you ever become angry? Did your brother or sister ever make you mad and you push them or you hit them? Well, today's memory verse says in Numbers 32, 23, if you fail to keep your word before the Lord, then you could be sure your sins will find you out. Marshall's sins found him out, even though he went running to hide. When I came in here in this room, I seen his big mess. In our story today about Moses, we pick up from where we left off last week and we find out that Moses got really angry. Why don't you listen in and hear how today's big idea about the truth always coming out plays out in Moses' life. Give a listen. Moses was a very young child when his mom brought him back to the palace to live in the royal courts of Egypt with his new adopted family. Pharaoh's daughter, the one who found him in the Nile, raised Moses as an Egyptian prince. He had everything he could ever want. But in his heart, Moses would never forget his mom and dad or his sister Miriam. Nor would he forget all that his family taught him about God and God's promises towards his people, the children of Israel. Forty years passed and Moses grew from a boy into a man. One day he went out to where his own people were and watched them hard at work. The things he saw were terrible, including an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave. When Moses saw this, it broke his heart and filled him with anger. It was as if this man were attacking his own brother. Moses waited, and when he thought no one was watching, he ran as hard as he could towards the Egyptian, and he killed him and buried his body in the sand. But Moses would soon find out someone had seen him, and word of his crime quickly spread. The next day, Moses went out to his people again, but this time he saw two Hebrews fighting with each other. He couldn't believe it. He confronted them. Men, you are brothers. Why are you hurting each other this way? One of them replied, who made you ruler and judge over us? Are you going to kill me? the way you killed the Egyptian? Moses heard this and was terrified and thought to himself that now everyone knew of the terrible thing he had done and he ran off. Meanwhile, Pharaoh was furious when he heard what Moses had done. By defending a Hebrew slave over an Egyptian taskmaster, Moses had rebelled against Pharaoh himself. Pharaoh ordered that Moses would be captured and killed immediately. But Moses had already ran far, far away into the wilderness. Moses left Egypt behind, but this was just the beginning of his story. Moses ran for his life until he came to a place called Midian, where he rested at the community well. Seven women arrived at the well to get water, but they were forced to leave by some shepherds. When Moses saw this, he quickly came to the rescue and he helped the girls water their flock of sheep. 
When Jeff Bro, the girl's father, heard about what Moses had done, he insisted that Moses be brought home and given a hero's supper. Over the next 40 years, Moses lived in the land of Midian and in the household of Jethro. And he married his daughter Zipporah and they had a baby boy Gershom. As the years passed, Moses learned many things about being a shepherd and taking care of flock. He became very humble and strong. Meanwhile, King Pharaoh died and all the Hebrew slaves were praying God would free them from the mean Egyptians. God heard their prayers and would call upon Moses to lead one of the greatest deliverance stories ever. But that's for next week. Marshall, why don't you close our story time in prayer again this week? Dear Jesus, help us to keep our sights on you and your kingdom, which are eternal. Help us to understand that whatever we lose in this life cannot be compared to what we will gain through salvation and eternal life. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. It's okay, Marshall. You really upset me earlier, but we talked about it. Boys and girls, you know what? I found Marshall hiding under my bed. That's where he usually goes when he upsets me and he knows that he's done wrong. But we talked about the Bible story and what happened with Moses, didn't we, Marshall? Yes, we talked about how Moses got angry when he saw the Egyptian mistreating the Hebrews. What did he do? He killed the Egyptian and then he tried to hide what he did wrong by burying the Egyptian. And then he ran. For 40 years, Moses had to hide from what he did wrong because Mo Pharaoh wanted to kill him. Remember that part of the story? That's right. You see, Marshall, it is never, never good to cover up your sins. When you do wrong, it's better to always come and confess it. We should go to God and we should tell him, God, I'm sorry. What about you? Has anybody ever yelled at you when you did something wrong? Or maybe you didn't do anything wrong and they were just yelling at you and mistreating you. Have you ever, remember we talked about it earlier, gotten upset with your brother or your sister? That's not good, boys and girls. We must always remember to go to God and tell him how we're feeling so we don't take our anger out on others like Moses did. Well... I'm thinking again about our memory verse in Numbers 32, 23. If you fail before the Lord, then you can be sure. I think I said that wrong. Actually, if you fail to keep your word before the Lord, you can be sure your sins will find you out. That's what happened to you, isn't it, Marshall? Are you sorry? Yes. Well, boys and girls, as you go about today, remember, don't hide the truth because the truth will always come out. So until next week, when we see what happens with Moses and a earning bush, bye-bye for now. Say goodbye, Marshall. Bye-bye.